So let's break down France Argentina for a second because uh, Victor <laughs> Oyenini wrote in and said, uh, "You idiots, why don't you talk about Messi tonight?" Oloshi, and if I'm not mistaken, Oloshi is uh, kind of a Nigerian uh, way of saying "you dum dums." Oh, really? Yeah. So <laughs> his team. You don't know. If if uh, if if I'm right on this. His team just got eliminated by Argentina, case, and he's looking at Messi and those three exquisite touches that gave them the first goal. But let's be honest, after that first goal, it was a crapshoot in that Nigeria. Argentina. Like, you can't say that Argentina deserved no. that win. It was unbelievable how chaotic that entire game was after the Messi goal. But these, and these, these games in this tournament team have been so close. Like, we can't say anyone deserves anything. Right. Look, who's dominated, like Croatia dominated Argentina in the second group stage. <laughs> Past that, yeah. like other than Saudi Arabia getting blowout, this tournament has been so close. It's tough to say who deserves what. I'll say this, and, and we've talked about Messi on this show plenty. Yeah, I watched it. You I watched it. I here, but I watched it. And if the other guys don't wake up, it doesn't matter what Messi does because he can't beat teams by himself. Right. He can't, which has always been the side of that argument that messy defenders will throw out there quickly. Right. And I'm not adverse to it, because if you watch that game today, Gonzalo Higuain from Juventus, who they paid 100 million euros to, looks like an amateur. It's amateur hour with the rest of those guys. Sergio Aguero's not needed because he does nothing with his national team. Mm -hmm. And if someone else doesn't, like, play the role... The ballot was good, but little do I know. He is good, and he, and he, he should have seen the field, and he didn't. He might, he might on Saturday, but listen, if, 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 if the pieces around Messi don't wake up, they are going to lose to France on Saturday. Right. I, I, that's my own feeling on it and, it, and it could come to pass where they wake up. So far, it's been really disappointing. That was a hell of a goal for Messi, though. It, it was a hell of a goal. It was also a hell of a ball. Like, let's give credit to the ball. I mean, the touches, to bring it down. Ever Benega, yeah. <laughs> Ever Benega was the one who sent the yeah. ball. Uh, the left knee touch like the thigh to cradle he's kind of thighed himself <laughs> it was unbelievable and then the finish uh give him full credit for that i don't believe the same way that you believe that messi is a fraud and i think that you don't say that if messi doesn't take pictures with a goat before the world cup because basically the argument was over before the world cup started but you're right like i'm not you know me i'm a two-year fan i respect the game i like the game i look at argentina they have no rhythm, no shape, no form. No runs off the ball. It just seems like it's 11 crazy, guys running around trying to, yeah. one, defer to Messi, and two, look around once they've deferred to Messi. And that's not the way you play. Like, you can't play at the highest level that way. And that's why they needed to be bailed out in the final day of qualifying with a hat trick from Messi. Yep. And they needed to be bailed out today uh, with a controversial call, a great messy goal, and seeing a little red as Rojo gets Rojo. the goal to finish I it off. I thought that was a penalty. You didn't think it was a penalty? I would have given that. If Ced Here's Cedric's a penalty yesterday, that's a penalty today. I don't think that Cedric is a penalty. I also don't think that today is a penalty. Okay. And I think that sometimes common sense in the deliberate handling of the ball mm -hmm. is how referees call it. And I don't know if VAR will take that away from them. You know how in basketball, Sydney, sometimes if there's a fight for a ball and there's really a loose ball foul and it might have gone off some guy's knee, they just won't call a foul because it's a big foul late in the game. It could be the bonus. It could be a guy's sixth foul. They'll just call possession. And video replay has taken that away from them. They can't do that anymore, right? Like you committed the foul. I'm not going to call the foul on you. Because that could cost you points and or the game. I'm just going to give you possession. The same thing is going to happen with VAR on balls handled inside the box. Stop. Just, you know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm trying to refer to. Don't go there. Okay? I think that it's going to be where you can't issue common sense. And you know that referee. He has been around for a long time. It's Turkish. That guy's, been, that guy's no nonsense, man. And, de and deals with big games. Yeah. And he walked over and he said, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Didn't mean to do it. Yeah. And that's why it was let go. Because the ball hit the arm. Yep. Ball hit the arm off of his hand. Led to a chance for Nigeria. I'm good with it as a no call. Okay. 